with John Fulton. Big win tonight, Manning romping over Lakeside 52 to 14. John, you're known as a defensive guy, but tonight you did it on offense. Four catches, 125 yards, two touchdowns, one receiving, one on a fake punt. Talk about what you had to do on the offensive end of the floor and the offensive side of the ball tonight. Oh, um, really, it's just rehabbing. I got a hurt ankle, had a mild concussion last week, but that's football for you. You got to play through the pain and you just got to do what the team need to win. Everybody knows you as a defensive back, and Lakeside ran the ball uh, predominantly tonight. What's it like being a defensive back and not being able to really be involved in the action? Um, I kind of hate it, so, but that's why I play offense so, for, so I can get involved in the action and help my team out any way I can. Again, everybody knows you as a great defensive back, but you showed a lot of skill on offense. What is it you bring to the table as far as being a wide receiver? Um, just confidence, confidence and speed and great hands for, my, for being a DB. Now, as far as uh, recruitment, if somebody was to start talking to you about playing maybe a little both ways, is that something that would interest you a little bit more? Is, is wide receiver something we can see in John Fulton's future? Yeah, they, I move, they move up my list, definitely. Talking about recruiting, you had the opportunity to attend a couple uh, South Carolina games lately. You were at Georgia, and then you were there last night. Talk a little bit about South Carolina's game last night against Mississippi. I mean, it was crazy. The atmosphere was crazy. The student section was going bananas. I was walking against on the bathroom, and everybody was calling my name, like, John, come here, John, come here. We went to a little after party thing. Everybody knew me and was talking to me, telling me to come there. So, I mean, it's a great to be wanted. What do you think about the overall performance of the team? Big win, defeated number four. What was your thoughts on the team? Um, I think their defense played outstanding. I mean, the offense just got scored in the red zone, but a field goal is made them win the game. So, really can't complain about that, but they, they played amazing. Well, you got a couple more official visits coming up. Where do you stand right now as far as your recruitment? Um, I mean, my outstanding, like, number. Well, like your official business coming oh, up. Oh, um, I got at. I got Alabama, South Carolina coming up. I got uh, Florida, Florida State. I got Florida, LSU right now. And I'm trying to go to Michigan and Ohio State. Back in July, you said South Carolina was your leader after being at their showcase camp. Is that still the case? Yes, sir. What is it about South Carolina that's really standing out right Just, now? I mean, they just beat the number four team in the nation last night. I mean, and they need me need me at cornerback. And everybody seems to want me there. So, and I know I go to leave from now. It's a DBU. Talk about they need a, a cornerback. How important is it for you to get on the field right away when you get into college? Um, basically, that's why I'm graduating in January because I got a great work ethic. Um, I think I, it don't matter who it is, I can start over anybody. That's my attitude. What's your relationship been like with Coach Beam or Coach Ward so far? Um, I mean, I talk to at least one of them at least once a week, sometimes both of them once a week. Um, I go out there and visit all the time just to visit. Um, I mean, I, Coach Ward, me and Coach Ward got a great relationship and Coach Beam. Behind South Carolina, who else is second and third right now? Um, Alabama and Florida.